Despite the genetics of being raised in a restaurant family and receiving my initial degree in marketing, I choose to be a teacher. And today, I'm going to share my story with you about Ivan and why I teach. He was intrigued by the other side already by the second or third grade. That clean-cut appearance could fool you upon first glance. But in reality, trouble was worn as a badge of honor. Despite family guidance, education, and accountability were not viewed as cool by his peers. And therefore, school and learning held little value. As a teacher, I'm not so concerned with the cool. With me, failure is not an option. And trouble only opens the doors for opportunities to create future successes. Society has a mindset that by the time a student reaches those middle school years, it's too late. It's not. This is where teachers can make the greatest difference. And this is where great teachers make learning real, and they make it come to life. I teach those students who possess the abilities to have been the ones responsible for stealing my car from my garage and torching it last fall. But I feel I have a responsibility to use that as an opportunity to teach. And instead, my students bought my new car. They researched, budgeted, calculated, and applied their math skills on every level. I believe in fostering that interdependence and real-world learning while combining community building and kindness both in and out of the classroom. For every student that has a teacher that changes his or her life, there's a student who changes the teachers and is never forgotten. Thank you for never giving up on me. Those words are permanently etched in my head, tugging at my heartstrings and bringing tears to my eyes. This is why I get out of bed every day. This is why I stay up till all hours of the night, creating meaningful lessons and prepping for each day in my classroom. This is why I get to know each and every one of my students individually and why I push and I push and I push some more for each to achieve his or her highest potential. Because in the end, my students won't necessarily remember what incredible lesson I created, but they will remember that I cared. For the past two and a half years, that clean-cut yet troubled student sat in my classroom, annoyed, disinterested, lazy, wanting to do as little as possible for any task given. At the end of his fifth grade year, he hadn't completed his final math geometry floor plan project I had assigned, nor his language arts board game assessment piece, which were two highly important requirements needed to move on to the next grade level. He had the attitude of who cares. His mindset was that a failure. With my principal's permission, we contacted his parents and made arrangements for him to come and attend school the following week, which would have been the start of his summer break and mine. Reluctantly, he came and completed his incomplete tasks while I cleaned and worked in my classroom rather than starting my own much-needed summer vacation. Throwing it together wasn't an option either, especially since he was one-on-one -on -one with me. And those friends, didn't put value into learning, they weren't around. And in the end, he worked hard, put quality into his work, and completed his projects. 
You could almost feel that sense of success and satisfaction begin to fill him up. Or just a gratefulness to be done. As a teacher, knowing I was going to be teaching him again the following school year, I knew I would have set him up for continued failure had I accepted his laziness and incomplete assignments. This hard life lesson showed him I was really serious and that both his parents and I were behind his successes. Failure was not an option. Uncertain of how the summer's experience was going to affect the new school year, I was overjoyed to see a 180 degree turn in his attitude, his focus, his drive, and his performance. I spent countless extra hours working with him, improving both his math and his reading skills. Watching as his happiness grew and the belief in himself has given me the greatest payback. His parents followed every suggestion and gave full support of me as the teacher and of their son following through in his studies. He has become an absolute asset in every level. He was one of four selected for our school legislative team and aided in the development of the STEM bill as well as four other pieces of education-related legislation. He has become a leader for our school and a mentor for younger students. He has a goal now to become governor of Nevada someday. And he has his acceptance speech all prepped <laughs> and ready. Ivan Ramirez is here to share his speech with you today. Ivan? <laughs> when I heard the audience welcome me with a warm applause, my smile went ear to ear. What an honor it is to be your governor. I am flattered. Members of the Senate and members of the Assembly have been a great help, and I must acknowledge the hardworking people who are making tremendous sacrifice. To my staff, I am proud to have you as a part of my team. As governor of Nevada, I will take action so our state moves once again. My goal as governor is to ensure that the children we are seeing today and we'll see tomorrow get the same opportunity to play, work, and raise in the, fam in, the, in the greatest state in America, the state of Nevada. I will step on toes if I need to. <laughs> this is not to cause pain, but to get us to stand up and accept that we must solve our serious problems now to prevent greater issues in the future. By saying that, I want to tell you what my plans are to make this state better than it already is. I propose going to the greenhouse project every week to help plant and harvest food for the homeless because we the people are a team. We must unite as a team. Yes, I will help the homeless by giving them food and clothing but I will also help them with skilled education to enter back into the workforce. I will go to the schools and work with the students, educating them about drugs, cyberbullying, and alcohol so they don't fall into traps and make damaging mistakes, which could destroy their lives. I will build a hospital accessible for all, and this will provide more jobs. I will give meaningful education to the youth of tomorrow. 
and I will not allow them to choose failure as an option. I can assure you the four years you have given me as governor will be the best four years for the community because I believe in the saying, shoot big to become big. I, Ivan Ramirez, swear to be the best governor Nevada has ever had. <laughs> Witnessing this growth, feeling this passion, and knowing that I made a difference, this is exactly why I teach. Thank you. Thank you.